settle down as in the recall test you've all done well and let's set the context of the finale panel discussion at the global fintech fest 2022 since the last three days we have understood and demystified how digitization has impacted the world of credit business rural banking and its proliferation in the length and breadth of the country and the world over like i told you before our last panel discussion is going to demystify on the topic of tapping into fintech opportunity in india's 100 billion d2c market there's no doubt that pandemic has changed the way we live we eat we socialize brands have also realized the power of connecting with consumers directly they've made the pivots and transformed additional distribution models done away with the reliance on middlemen and adopted digital as a platform to educate and engage the wave of D2C in India can be best understood with the stat that 200 million online shoppers would be added in the next four years. This all points to the Indian D2C ecosystem being at an epic inflection point and market reactions in the recent times have been positive about it, which points out that the Indian D2C ecosystem is at that journey which is driven by seismic move to online and growing social media consumption across the cohorts. Now to throw light on the different facets of the D2C market, we have with us three mavericks who have actually built scale, scope, complexity in a relatively complex business and entered those markets which were inundated with a lot of competition and proved that if certain basic things are done right, you can create an impact in a massive way, create unparalleled value for the customers. So for this round of the conversation, I'd like to call on stage our moderator, beginning with Mr. Bhavik Vasa, who's the founder of Get Wanted. Ladies and gentlemen, a big round of applause for him. And joining him on our panel discussion is going to be Mr. Aman Gupta, co-founder and CMO of both, ladies and gentlemen. And joining him on stage is also going to be Mr. Manish Chaudhary, co-founder, Wow Skin Science and Finally, we also have with us Mr. Mohit Gopal, Chief Operating Officer at Payu. So, guys, a stunning lineup of speakers and panel members. A big round of applause. And on this note, I hand over the stage to you, Bhavik. Over to you. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you. I think you did a good uh, job with uh, warming up the audience for us as well. Uh, but, uh, no, I think this is a wonderful event. Uh, very well organized. Uh, but ek cheez ho gai, yaar. Kami ho gai. So before we get started, uh, there's one problem. Yeah, big problem. Very, very big problem. We are not, we are not wearing both speakers. Aman, is that Next, okay? No, I'm going. <laughs> <laughs> Next time, Latika. No, but on a serious note, I think uh, great, wonderful to have you, Mohit, Manish, and Aman Thanks. on stage. Uh, and I think uh, we have before us a very large uh, responsibility to talk about a hundred billion market size. Uh, that the D2C space is going to be. And uh, I think if we, if we look back the last decade, right, uh, we saw commerce going digital, e-commerce happening, marketplaces happening, uh, and then 2016 happened. And through my own journey in the world of fintech, 2016 was an inflection point where demonetization happened. Modi ji stage pe gaye aur bole ki, you know, let's talk about digital money and digital cash. And that changed at least consumer behavior. So commerce went digital, payments went digital, uh, and we saw a huge shift in consumer behavior. Uh, so I truly believe it is really looking at the last decade that we can truly now uh, know that this next decade, this current decade, is going to belong to brands of India, uh, brands like Boat, brands like Wow Skincare. Uh, and with that, let me get started. And uh, Manish, you and Aman, let me get you both to share you are building a brand, solid business over the last few years. But what has really shifted and changed in the last couple of years? If you were to see from consumer behavior, consumer patterns, digital payments, uh, what has really changed in the last couple of years? So I'll go first. <clears throat> so I think uh, everything has changed. The consumer isn't the same anymore. Uh, let me ask first, uh, how many of you guys understand Hindi? Then it's easy. I Hindi. I So, you know, the consumer is changing every day, right? And when we entered, I remember I was working for a company which was uh, also selling headphones and speakers. 
and I went to my boss and I'm like, uh, you know, the consumer is changing. Why don't we guys do this, this, this? So he's like, nahi, yaar, nahi ho because you know, at big companies, there's sometimes resistant to change. Yeah. So I think uh, if you look at uh, 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 the product mm. as such, right? Uh, earlier, there were, you know, in my industry, there were a lot of black and whites being sold yeah. as headphones. Look at these right. Right, boring ones. Yeah. So they were very boring headphones being available. And we changed it into a lifestyle category. If you look at uh, the consumer as such, I remember, uh, uh, you know, talk, I had a I had a marketer with me, and I used this line a lot. And he on 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 a Friday wrote, "Yeah, it's Friday." <laughs> okay, and I'm like, dude, change your uh, you know you don't do your autocorrect spelling checker. It's right. called Friday. Huh. And then I realized that uh, these guys talk in a very different language. Right. 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 So it was a slang. Friday is supposed to be like good slang. So uh, the consumers needs hmm. the way they talk, the way they interact with brands, yeah. the way they buy. Right. Uh, yeah. Earlier, they were only offline available, right? Now, if you look at our categories, some of these categories, ma maximum purchases happen online, uh, on marketplaces or right. on your own website. Right. So the consumer's shopping pattern is also changing. So I think uh, consumers uh, will change. And if brands like ours don't change with changing consumers, we'll die. Yeah. I totally believe in that, that, you know, if you are not, uh, if you think that you've done it all, or if you think that, you know, uh, you know your consumer. Boss, he's changing every day. There's yeah. so many fintech things which are starting every day. So many new hmm. platforms. So, change with your consumer or you die. That's my answer. Fantastic. Manish, bringing you in, your your thoughts. What, And also throw some light, you know, prepaid orders versus COD. Do you see a change in pattern there, shifts there? Yeah, so, hi all. Uh, really excited to be here. Let me top up something at least on the OG of uh, the D2C <laughs> in India, Aman. Uh, let's talk about when we started, it was 2013-14. At least in a category like ours, uh, who thought about buying shampoos online, right. hair oil, uh, consumers only buying it offline. Uh, how did you build trust? Yeah. That's the yeah. first change where we really saw in our category that there's revolution in that, right? And that was just the start. Uh, let's talk about uh, the pandemic. I think that was the best. I can't be selfish here, but got to be honest. I think that was the best thing what happened to the internet businesses. Consumers came online and bought. Yeah. It's a behavior which has changed forever, if you ask me. Uh, it's great to be uh, a consumer in today's era. I think uh, loyalty is at the lowest yeah. you can ever find. But what the twilight gives you a lot ahead is data gives you so much of innovation opportunity where there's a gap, right? So I've told you how things have changed. Uh, now going back to the question what you asked me on COD prepaid, I think uh, Digital is something, I, I mean, we started our business when we saw uh, demonetization. So yeah. we have seen that phase yeah. where 95% of our consumers were buying COD and you had ad costs which are going so expensive. Uh, I remember spending on Facebook in dollar cards. Right? We used to put uh, Kotak uh, Visa credit cards with fixed deposits right, and right. running it. Just now, a year back since we got a Facebook representative and we bill an INR, right? So you're yeah. talking about those era. <laughs> this is not too far away, how things have changed. Yeah. Uh, but keeping it crisp, I think uh, digital is something which we see UPI being big, like it's our sure. biggest driver, uh, at least on the collection point of view. Obviously, we're seeing credit cards lagging behind because we are a low ASP product. Sure. People like to just uh, check out with UPI. COD is still large. Uh, we are 50, 60 percent COD. Okay. Uh, but as, in, as India matures into more of an e-commerce digital uh, I mean, ecosystem, I think this is just going to be something revolutionary. Will you see a shifting trend? Both of uh, you all see we've it. We've seen it happening year on year. Uh, and I think it's just getting better. Tech and data helping again. How do you uh, offer a consumer who will buy prepaid, give them a better discount, give them better offers? So, so we've got the tech today alive got it. To, to, to execute this. But really exciting to see these metrics is really improve year on year. Perfect. Perfect. Mohit, let's bring you into the uh, conversation as well. Um, from your vantage point as a, as a payment enabler, as a payment gateway, as PayU, um, what are these, these patterns that you're seeing shift? Uh, just some very macro trends. Uh, how are you seeing merchants? How are you seeing consumers transact with different merchants in different categories? Yeah, hi. So it's great to be here. Very easy question, but I'll give you a tough answer for that, right? Think about 2,000 years back. 
none of you would have found it odd to actually go to Aman or Manish and bring, say, 12 chickens or a, or a bag of salt and exchange that for headphones or skincare products, right? There was a barter system out there. That later evolved into cowrie shells and other things. Eventually into cash, paper money, and then digital forms of money, which would have been meant a credit card at some point in time. And there would have been a physical point of sale where you would have actually swiped a card or eventually tapped it. What we have done, what we have seen over the last few years has been this change to digital. And I've got this very nice product which is launched here as well, where you can use a device to actually tap on a, on a point of sale system. So that has changed. And, and you know, think about it. Changing consumer behavior is the toughest thing to happen. Uh, there was a very, very famous, one of my favorite stories is about this famous plastic surgeon who said that when people actually get rhinoplasty, which is a nose job, it takes them about 21 days to get used to their image in the mirror. It takes that much of time. So habit formation takes the minimum of 21 days. When we think about the, the, the sheer growth of UPI and digital payments in India, also remember that, that some very large companies spent between five to $10 billion in changing that consumer behavior. It takes time, effort, and money to change behavior, right? Now today, luckily for us, all that is done and dusted. And if I was to talk just from the framework of the D2C industry, right? What is D2C trying to do? D2C is saying, as a brand, the brand wants control over the entire process flow, right? Right from the point of creating the idea to actually the end experience of shipping it to the customer and, and everything else, right? The second thing is the brand wants to reduce costs that may or may not happen, but they're actually trying to say, we don't want to pay these large online marketplaces something which we don't believe they're entitled to. And the third thing is, they actually want control over data. That customer should actually have loyalty towards them and they should be able to actually tailor that entire experience for that customer, right? So these things are possible today. And from a payments perspective, right? Yeah. We are here to support you in this. We are the, the invisible <laughs> channel or partner, right? And, sure. and we will build to suit. We already have pretty much everything. All the ingredients are there. Now all that is required to stitch it all together and actually make it big. So I think that's, where, that's what I offer. Perfect. So, so consumer behavior has changed. Payments is enabling all of that. Uh, but is this, is this sustainable? So what tech has done, and uh, Aman, I think you get pitched a new brand uh, coming into the market every other day for angel investment. Manish, you're seeing brands come up, literally husband and wife couples setting up a new brand uh, from their kitchens now. So technology is great and it's enabled a brand to come up, but we are seeing thousands of brands, thousands of small businesses coming up. Is this sustainable? Do you really think the market opportunity is that large in India and we are just scratching the surface or you think it's a bubble that is uh, waiting to get corrected? No, I think uh, to India start away. If you look at US, you know, there are so many mm -hmm. brands uh, for every category. In India, mein toh, they are not even, you know, even in their category, shampoos and all, there must be how much? 50,000. <laughs> 50,000. Wow. In their category, don't go in their category. You need a lot of capital for that. How, how, many, how, many, how many in the board category? How many in the... They are in... Uh, Four we, five? We were there, there were 200 brands. Wow. Only. I wouldn't say that in India, mein, there are uh, many brands, yeah. right? And I think there is space for everybody. They will have niches created. Ah. Now, even their industry, there is somebody, if they are doing shampoos and, you know, everything... There is a guy called uh, Mac Caffeine who's only doing caffeine uh, products, right? So there are niches which will become masses. Yeah. And uh, there will be some people who will do only vegan stuff, right? Mm. And they'll become masses in that. So I think there will be, there is room for everybody to grow. Yeah. There are, like even in our category, there will be somebody who will take over like probably a gaming zone. Like he takes over the gaming headphone category. There, and somebody is doing like silent uh, these mm. disco party headphones, right? Yeah. I don't do yeah. them. <laughs> so he might build a brand in that category. So now in India, there's a lot of And sure. not only husband and wives, uh, uh, I've seen a lot of uh, friends uh, starting up, brothers joining up, you know, mother-in-law and daughter-in-law starting yeah. up. Yeah. Yeah. So there is huge, uh, you know, in India, mein entrepreneurship has just started. Yeah. And uh, digital brands uh, is one part. But there are so many other areas we yeah. see every day new entrepreneurs, new combinations coming up and starting something. And it's the right time in India. You know, Perfect. if you look at our Honorable Prime Minister, he also said uh, there's a startup day being celebrated. Yeah, yeah. You know, it, it is the right time to be uh, an entrepreneur, whether you start up of your own company hmm. 
or be entrepreneurial in the company you are working in so those traits are being uh, i would say being nurtured being looked at and uh, people with those traits are growing sure. in any company perfect i think abhi to start hua hai game chalu ho rahi hai abhi to picture know, baki hai ha picture abhi baki hai correct so abhi to only you know even if you look at online there is only 10% of india which shops online there is 90% of india which is still offline, offline. so abhi to yeah. kitna kuch baki hai matlab so, anybody and everybody should not be kya bolte hai na use should not be scared ki itne sare brands aa gaye hain hmm agar aisa hoga to kabhi kaam hi nahi hoga perfect manish yeah See, I'm a strong believer in the India story. I think it's this decade is going to be India's. Superb. Consumer, it's a great time to be a consumer here. Not the best time to be a brand, <laughs> right? I know you keep uh, talking about but, not so much loyalty. But I loved what Am Aman used the word brands, right? Huh. Uh, very less brands in India. I think the entry to barrier into any category is easy yeah. going online today. Yeah. But building brand is very critical. Right, there's a old saying, pro saying products are made in a factory, brands are built in a, in the minds of a consumer, right? And that's something what sure. Aman's cracked. Uh, yeah. We are in that path. So we are a transitioning product company into a brand, and I think that'll be the differentiator. And and y'all have just signed up uh, a new brand ambassador, Kartik, Kartik yeah. And Rashmi Kaur. Very yeah, but nice. I think we should stump the audience and ask them which is the first D to C brand in this country. Let's see if anybody can come up. Yeah. With Any anyone? I think he's asking a quiz. Do, do you know? I I don't I don't know. I also don't know. Let's let's give them a chance. It's very interesting. Anyone anyone want to take a guess? Uh, first D two C brand in India. Amul. Washing no. powder Nirma. Washing powder Nirma. So why, okay. why is it D two C? Because he went door to door selling his products. Right? That's ah. the story of. It. Nice. What we have done is just going ditch the consumer. Let me write that. Next, 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 next. Let me use that. Yeah. So going back again, I think it's a great time to be uh, an entrepreneur. Great time to be a brand owner. Sure. In our category, please don't come in. There's fifty thousand <laughs> brands. Uh, the most. I mean, when we entered, it took people uh, took it took a year and a half before somebody could copy us. These days, copies come in uh. two, three months. Moats are broken. Uh, then you have to go re-engineer things. I wouldn't say it's it's tough, yeah. but you're playing in an eighty thousand crore category. Sure, it's a huge place to compete on, but anything is possible uh, today. And uh, I think this decade is India's. आजकल तो अमन भी आपकी स्टोरी बता सकता है. The 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 apple side. Correct. Apple side of vinegar. But but Mohit, uh, uh, how many merchants do you see on your platform now? Is that growing? What pace? Just give us the flavor because you have that vantage point. You're seeing every business go online. Yeah so a few years back it was quite interesting when we looked at trends we saw a concentration especially in e-commerce uh, going towards the super large marketplaces right you could actually see them grow faster than smaller brands the last couple of years that trend has reversed we're seeing a bunch of smaller brands who are actually growing at a faster pace than the than the very largest of players and this is very very interesting right it's just started happening but this trend if it continues and you know how trends are they start off slow and they suddenly start scaling sure so i think these guys are going to be super rich <laughs> the other <laughs> thing is i have a question <laughs> for all, all of you here <laughs> as well right yeah. how many of you are from banks and don't worry i won't hold it against you right or have had banking experience ever worked in a bank not bad now think about it a traditional bank right is a full service bank which does everything from agri loans to vehicle financing insurance blah 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 If you think of making that analogy, what is D to C in the banking space? It will be a digital bank, or it will be somebody who's creating a credit card platform, who's actually going deep, who's specialising, and who's actually saying, "I will cut out all the clutter." So you will see the most successful, like Washing Powder Nirma is a great example, single product. So if you're actually doing something in D2C, please don't come out with 10,000 products, right? Then you are then you are going to be a, you need to be on a marketplace or you need to build a marketplace. You're doing one single product, two three simple products, and then you can actually specialize and win that market. So I think that's what we see. The ones who do the best. Sure. Licious is a good example again, right? So that's that's D2C again. Bevakuf D2C, and all of them just take a theme. You can then have multiple products. So again, I'm saying, but specialize on T-shirts. Have a bunch of T-shirts. Specialize in meat. I'm not saying that 50 brands of meat is like it's it's just still one product, right? Skincare is one product at the end of the day. You can have multiple pieces in there, multiple pieces of inventory. Why? Because the logistics part of it is the other challenge. So you have to fix that as well. Returns sure. is a challenge. 
if you ideally have something which doesn't come in sizes, that's great. Shaving blades have done well in the US for that one reason. You don't have different sizes of shaving blades for your face, right? It just, you can just go with one. Yeah. And, and that works for you, right? So try that. But we can see this is going to work. So those of you who are not in D2C, figure out a D2C model and that includes in FinTech as well. Perfect. Perfect. So let's, let's um, also quickly spice things up a little, make this a little more fun. Uh, we have a shark on the stage, so we have to go in that. Where, where is the shark? <laughs> but uh, no, I think, I think when it comes to fintech, financial services, of course, payments and digital payments and tech is one part of it, but relationship with money, right? Capital, financing, funding, uh, very important part of growing a brand, growing a business. Uh, but let me ask, ask both of you in your journeys as a, from being a founder, an early founder, to then being an investor, uh, in multiple other businesses. What's your relationship with money? How has that changed? Especially for you, for you Manish. Manish, you go first, then we'll have a... So, initial part, we started, uh, boot, we were bootstrap right till 2020. My investor is sitting in the crowd here, right? We have been funded by Chris Cap and GIC, so anybody's wanting a check here on spot, <laughs> Param's here. But uh, prior to this, we built it completely bootstrap. Uh, we deployed close to 27 to 29 crores to build a 250 crore brand, a bidda positive that time. Capital was required to build brand that requires money, uh, needs institutionalization of the company, non less dependent on founder, how do you build an institution for tomorrow. Uh, got great partners on board, uh, but still continue to behave like we're bootstrapped, though there are investments into the business where the burns are there. Sure. But that's for something which is long-term, which pays off, which is brand building, which is very expensive today. Yeah. So it's been yeah. tactically taken uh, for specific reasons of building brand. So Karan and myself, my younger brothers, the co-founder, we are always thinking about where the brand could be five years, 10 years. We've got pitch stops where we do a stock check, where we evaluate where we are. Uh, but very fortunate to have great partners on board. Sure. Uh, and and only through the journey, only equity fundraising or you've taken other forms if, of capitalism? If, if, you, if you are a, a negative EBITDA business, uh, prefer taking equity. Okay. Uh, if you're in the positive, like how Aman's uh, humbly in it, <laughs> uh, debt comes into play. But in our category, we obviously high gross margins. Uh, sure. We know how to make money at the end of the day, profitability. We know how to, uh, you switch off the marketing. Yeah side that will spit out profits, but you're looking at building something which is long term. You're fighting a tough category, right? It requires capital, so, yeah. so yeah. that's Perfect. where we are. Perfect. And Aman, your, your insights uh, in, in terms of, of course, you play the role of a shark. Uh, you're also mentoring so many founders. Uh, how should one go about building a brand? What are the other ways of raising capital? What are the other avenues? How do you, how do you grow from one milestone to the other? So I'll, 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 I'll put this in two parts, mm -hmm. right? One is my personal uh, life on finance. Yeah. One is the company life yeah, on we'll, finance. Yeah, we want the personal one also, for sure. Yeah, so which one do you want? <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, you know, as a company, uh, we were bootstrapped uh, till a long time, right? Yeah. In fact, uh, we were in an industry which was very highly competitive, right? And there were some mobile brands uh, in, our, uh, in our space which mm. did not do well. So, uh, our investors were very good. They were very good. They were very good. Sorry, one investor. Sorry, not you. I didn't, I didn't meet him that time. So, investors used to reject, reject us even before we were born. Our death story was written before we were born that we will die this way. So, we did not get a lot of money. We had no option but to. I went for a fundraise. Uh, I, you know, initially, I went to a lot of VCs that they are paise de do, paise de do. Because uh, funding is not a celebration. Hoti hai. You know, mm. there, is a, mm. there is a sense of achievement when you get funding. Right? Yeah. Everybody starts congratulating you. So you go open your LinkedIn, there are like 200 people. Oh, it's got funding. Mil and so everybody is congratulating. So we also, as humans, yeah. go into the rat race yeah. of funding. Right? So we uh, also thought that funding. We also wanted to go. So we also went to funding. We also rejected it. So then we made our own business. Bana hai. Toh, you know, so we have saved a lot of money. Every place we have saved a lot of money. Today, you know, uh, there is a, there, I'm a chartered accountant, so yeah. there is a yeah. banya also in me, <laughs> as a, and a CA in me, which always makes me save money. I'm very ROI driven. I'm very nice. focused on ROI. Nice. Even on marketing, I don't spend too much. I, over, I, you know, I'll tell you a small example. Uh, there was a, there was a celebrity we signed up, and that celebrity one day said, uh, first celebrity, one of the first celebrities, and he's like, uh, "Meko na gadi chahiye." 
ऑडी और मैं फर्स्ट क्लास फ्लाई बिजनेस क्लास फ्लाई करता हूँ मतलब अजीब आदमी है मतलब इतना महंगा बिजनेस क्लास होता है तो मैंने वाउच अपने ना पॉइंट्स ढूंढे पॉइंट्स में से कहीं से उसकी बिजनेस क्लास की टिकट बन गई थी तो मैंने उसको वहाँ वहाँ से लेके दी फिर क्या था मुझे एक सिम ये ऑडी चाहिए एक फिक्स ऑडी कि मैं इसी ऑडी में जाऊँगा मतलब ऑडी या बी एम डब्ल्यू ऑड एवर बी एम यू नो आई लाइक दिस का तो मैंने अपने फेसबुक में लिखा एनी बडी हैज़ लाइक अ बिग कार बिकॉज ऑल दी सेलिब्रिटीज आर यूज टू ड्राइविंग इन बिग कार्स सो अ फ्रेंड ऑफ माइंड हैड अ कार एंड आई यूज़ हिज कार फॉर फॉर द पिकअप बिकॉज The car company was like, I want thirty thousand for one day. I said, "Pagal hai." So we used to, you know, we had no money. Yeah. So we had to do a lot of jugaad. Yeah. In uh, we worked out of co-working spaces. I had a lot of interns as our employees. Nice. I had to double down on 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 my times, right? I have, I have a, uh, you know, I have a daughter, and uh, then both was being born at that same time. And I think I was spending my time. Uh, in bringing up boat as my baby and uh, my daughter my my wife was taking care of my daughter as one baby yeah. so money to hamare paas tha hi nahi bhai so we had no luxury of money right and uh, in hindsight acha hi hua kyunki agar hum pehle dete to hamari equity nahi bachti to fir humne beech mein you know we we were very profitable uh, since day zero we are profitable so we were doing uh, 100 crores of sales and i went to kaval as an investor yeah and i told him i need uh, i need you as a Uh, as an investor as a shark to help me grow i did not need his money but i needed his inputs i needed how to scale from i knew i knew how to scale from here to here correct but then from here to the next level it is a different nice. set of then we have now warburg as our investors uh, good guys and they bring in a different level of expertise right so you do i would say you know i i remember uh, somebody saying that uh, uh, equity should be your last option and i totally Perfect. agree Perfect. I don't think anybody should, you know, uh, money from customers is more is better than money from investors. Investor की सिरदर्दी बहुत आप ज़्यादा यार मतलब अब अच्छे investor ज़्यादा बचे नहीं हैं इनको छोड़के. And, and, and please record this. This is the shark saying, <laughs> "Don't give me equity." I'm telling you, वो हमारा काम है equity लेना उनसे लोगों से. आप बोल देने ही तो आए हैं. But मैं तो from from my side, I I don't want anybody to give equity if not required. Perfect. So equity should be like preserved as much as you can. and uh, then we took debt we've taken all types of debt we've done revenue financing we've done uh, uh, bill discounting we've done uh, venture debt perfect and now you know since we are doing well banks have also started give, coming pehle to banks ko bharosa nahi hota tha mar pe ki bhai ye kya karenge to humne 26 26 percent pe bhi debt uthaya hai sabse pehle debt uthaya tha maine apne papa se <laughs> उन्होंने मेरे से पंद्रह परसेंट महंगा हाँ। सबसे महंगा था वो, वो भी महंगा था पापा ने बोला मैं बैंक में डाल रहा हूँ मेरे को पंद्रह मिलते हैं बारह मिलते हैं मतलब पापा पंद्रह दूंगा आपको आप मेरे को दे दो पहले डैड से उठाया फिर बैंक फिर वेंचर डेट से बिल डिस्काउंटिंग से उठाया फिर वेंचर डेट वालों से उठाया बट अब क्या है ना कंपनी एक लेवल पर आ गई कि बैंक से स्टार्टेड गिविंग अस मनी एंड मच चीपर कॉस्ट ऑफ कैपिटल सो या वीव हैड मनी फ्राम एट ऑल साइड परफेक्ट परफेक्ट नो एन Uh, trust me, that was uh, I haven't bribed him at all to do the plug-in, but uh, thank you for the plug-in for Get Vantage. Take take revenue-based financing also. Yeah, it's it's important. It's uh, best. Yeah. Uh, you know, you all have to sign brand ambassadors and actors. I think I'll just sign you guys as my <laughs> my my ambassadors as well. Uh, Mohit, uh, quickly uh, uh, for you as you're seeing the startup ecosystem flourishing, e-commerce businesses flourishing. Uh, what besides Uh, payments are you also offering working capital alternative financing lending i what what are the support areas uh, for these businesses that can come and uh, work with you as an enabler so in spy movies there there's this uh, famous statement right don't ask questions for which you already know the answers so of course as pay you we are partnering with uh, bhavik's company get advantage <laughs> we are trying to provide revenue based financing to companies and see even the previous question debt or equity right debt is historically about the past what has the company done and therefore you'll get debt hmm. equity is largely about the future what are you going to do and therefore you'll get equity but in in terms of d2c right you are selling products out there therefore the important thing to do is cash flow management and for that that timing gap between when you get paid and actually when you are actually making payments is something which something like revenue based financing can solve very very well the other thing is how can you actually get your customers to actually spend more and for that affordability based solutions which is emis of different sorts whether it's bnpl or anything else actually adds value and today we see so much happening on that side right i uh, think about uh, this entire thing about rewards loyalty offers that entire piece which is out there and this and you know you have co- great companies right here itself who are all providing parts of this 
Now, what we will do is simply stitch it all, stitch that ecosystem together to actually help. And that's what Bhavik and I are trying to achieve here, is to stitch that ecosystem together so that for any new D2C company, they don't have to face the same challenges which somebody like uh, Amano Manish actually had to face. Because at the end of the day, all of us are not going to be as skilled as these guys, right? And I don't know all three, the, three of these guys. Bhavik is a hustler. You, you, it doesn't get much better than that, right? Aman's idea factory, is he an idea factory? And we all know that, right? And Manish yeah. has spent so much time going so deep. Will every D2C brand, brand be that smart or that good? Maybe not, but it doesn't matter. That is the foundation, that is the infrastructure which people like us will provide. And then you can go out and just crack the market, right? Fantastic. But does it help, Manish, I don't know if in your category, very relevant, but Aman, uh, is consumer credit, BNPL, is, you know, EMIs, does that really work? Are you seeing that kind of boost consumption at all or? Yeah, it's important. customer, I was in City Financial huh. and we used to give uh, a lot of personal loans and, you know, phone karke, uh, hum log kisi ko, First of all, we bought a washing machine and a TV, and there was a zero EMI scheme for 10 years ago. We were also doing that, and when there was a zero EMI, I mean, the financial decision was just that, take it, it's coming free, if you're getting the same price, you're getting zero EMI, why don't we take it? So I think there are, there are customers who are opting in for that, and I think those, those days are getting over, uh, you know, every, even the startups are now getting like, uh, you know, you have to charge. Yeah. Right. Profitability yeah. has become important. Yeah. But if you ask me to answer your question that uh, are these important, absolutely man. Who, you know, if you're telling, uh, if you're giving a consumer an option to buy without spending so much at, at point zero, you're just, uh, uh, you know, you're just helping uh, them make that decision today, right? Whether it's travel, whether it's goods, any industry you go into and you get, uh, this, is, this is how consumerism will evolve in the country. I think it's very critical if, and if we don't do it, another branch do it, we lose sales, right? So we have to do it also because the consumer is changing also. Yeah. yeah. Again. Havik, yeah, not maybe. too, doesn't have large velocity at least at our end, but it's not uh, zero. Okay. Uh, it's around 10% of our prepaid orders, but it's, in, it's astonishing to yeah. see a consumer pay 50 rupees every month for a bottle of a shampoo, shampoo wow. which is 350 bucks. Yeah. I was yeah. pretty baffled. There was a good set of consumers buying those kind of offers, right? Wanting to pay the 50 bucks. I mean, obviously, Aman's uh, ASP is much higher than ours. Yes. I mean, our ticket item is 600 to 700 as a basket building. Aman's might be larger. But at ours, it's there. It's not high velocity that can excite us uh, because of it's it's in the affordability yeah. bracket, right? Yeah. But it's astonishing to see. Wow. No, that's a that's 10% is a very interesting data point there. Um, quick raise of hands. How many founders entrepreneurs trying to set up something new in the fintech world, tech world in the audience? How many would like to eventually want to start something of their own and uh, build something? Uh, so, thoda, thoda gyan karte aman. I, I think let's, and, and Hindi are fully allowed. Uh, what is that one problem? So, there's a lot of tech, fintech guys. Uh, as a brand, uh, as, as a consumer brand, what would you guys want to see a, a couple of problems that you think can be solved or need to still be solved? Uh, you go first. I don't know the answers. I think about. <laughs> I I was told. I had told you. I'm going to ask you some tough ones. Let him let him this answer. Is, this is slightly know. tough. Uh, I think we have seen the good part, right? So we don't value the the tough end stuff. What is there right now? It's obviously uh, our time. We were less competition. There's a lot of competition. Today. Again, I told you, modes are copied. Advertising is expensive. Uh, talent is expensive. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I think we we got away building something for cheap, right? And I think. Let me talk about what we see forward. I think solving consumers' problems, and going in depth, how do I solve it better? Yeah. Will make you a winner. If it's going to be vanilla, then you're just going to be just another one. But uh, I think it, the grind of innovation is just the demand of the hour, right? And, and you, know, you keep pointing out that uh, customer loyalty is probably at its lowest. How, how does a brand solve for that? How, does, how do you use tech or, or any other tools to kind of solve for that? I think innovation is critical. It starts from innovation and marketing. Two things in, in, in eras like this, right? Mm -hmm. You have to be innovative. One is that and second is innovative marketing. Uh, what used to work Six months, one year, even something which worked last week is not going to work tomorrow, sure. right? So how do you have that 
engine, the conveyor belt, as what we keep talking in our organization, yeah. evolving. Because it's so dynamic, right? Uh, I think you introduced us with 5,000 plus D2C brands. Yeah. It's much yeah. more than that, more than right? That. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I, th I think that's the, yeah. the tough part uh, where it is. But I think we, have, we, have, we as Indians are pretty smart. We'll figure it out. Right? There'll be plenty of Amans sitting in this crowd here looking to crack what we have created or he's created. Ah, and who knew a CA, a, a Banya and a CA would come up and build a consumer brand. But uh, Aman, seriously, uh, what, how, he talks about innovation. But what, what are the problems you think can be solved or how are you solving for some of these, for your yeah, group? Problem to both sari hai. Huh. Uh, uh, you know, that's what entrepreneurship is, right? Uh, you find a problem and you solve it. I'm sure there are like hundreds of them here who are solving some problems. What uh, is the problem now? There is no problem now. I don't remember. No, no, no ideas though. I'm, I'm, I'm probing you. I mean, what will be the next? Next great idea that you would want to fund? Koi, koi aisa... I, think, um, I think India is... Uh, I don't know about fintech space as such, but yeah, India is going more towards healthy living, healthy ecosystem. I work okay. with a lot of millennials. All of them are concerned about their uh, health uh, okay. as such where um, people like Manish were only focused on wealth. <laughs> and uh, now I think the new India is changing. Yeah. And uh, there are a lot of health verticals which will come up and solutions for keeping the millennial healthy. So sure. from, on, from that side, I can just remember this right now. Sure, sure. Any, any innovation you've been seeing, uh, you all have been fronting, Mohit, anything? See, lots of uh, innovation out there, but to actually answer your previous question, if I have to actually say what is uh, important, You've got three real ingredient, ingredients, right? You've got time, you've yeah. got talent, and you've got technology, right? And from a time perspective, I used to always feel that you need to prioritize. So choose what you want to do and deprioritize everything else. But somebody very smart I met yesterday actually said that uh, you'll be surprised at how much the human brain and the human body is capable of, you know, of actually doing. So we have more time than we actually think we do have. And this is where when I fight with my engineering and product teams, it's always about engineering bandwidth and engineering productivity, right? And their answer always is deprioritize something and we'll do this. And my question always, why can't we do everything? Or at least all the things which are really material to be done, right? So that's one part of it. When it comes to talent, while, while, we, while we have lots of people, you have to pick the right people, especially when you start out. If you don't do that, you will end up, it'll cost you more in the long run. It's not a question of money. It's not a question of how much you need to pay somebody, but pick the right people. So build the teams that you want to carry into battle, right? So do that. And the third, when it comes to technology, please don't listen to your engineers when they come out and say, there's a new language and I want to code in that, right? So if you're in banking or in financial services, stick to Java to a large extent. If you're in AI and data, stick to Python. And what you will then do is, when you are going to scale, right? When you're actually going to hit 100 million customers, when you're hitting millions of transactions per day, at that point in time, you don't have to go back and you know, reinvent the wheel and redo your stack. You've already, you've already built for success, right? So that's all I'll advise you. Sure. And, and before we uh, go into some last closing thoughts, quick question. Do we have a possibility for questions from the audience? We do? Yeah, so we should open up for questions. But uh, one final thought. So uh, we've had the opportunity over the last couple of years to work with over 300, 350 brands across categories. And we're trying to hack some sort of uh, formula for success for brands in today. Uh, you know, we've come up with these four Cs, content, community, collaboration, and capital. Uh, that's the new four C's that uh, uh, we are at least trying to work with many brands and founders. Uh, any any thoughts? Any addition to that? Any new C's? Any uh, you know? Do you do you resonate with that? Do you think brands need to do something more with community? Because I think Boat has done that excellent, right? Is really start from a what um, are your C's? content, community, collaboration, and capital. I think uh, for me it's. Another C, which is consumer, you know, yeah. which is probably a subset of community. But uh, well, I'm very basics in way of life. Yeah. I think uh, consumer is very important and you should not forget your consumer. Grahak Bhagawan hai. Bachman mein usse khaya aapko. Grahak Bhagawan hai. Toh consumer ki photo laga lo. Usko kya chahiye, usko dete raho. Baaki, baaki jada C mein toh ek aur C hota hai. Mein bol raha hai. But yes, my consumer C is more important. Okay. Manish? I think I, my emphasis is on customer, obviously, first. Yeah. And also on uh, uh, 
content right content is so yeah. important right uh, what you communicate today's consumers have so less time of attention how do you grab into that so i think these are critical yeah. but i i concur with yeah. what nahi ye khali ye family show hai shark tank nahi warna wo see bol dete wo beep nahi karte hum aur edit ho jata mohit your final uh, thoughts around no nothing else i just add courage to that because i think courage, uh, yes. if you want to do something you always need to take that leap of faith so that's the only thing fantastic fantastic i think we have a couple of minutes here uh, quick couple of questions if anybody has i think uh, There's one here. There is another one. If you can have mics quickly, so we can try and take as many questions. Uh, hello, everyone. My name is Karan. I work for a company called Wild. Uh, I just had a very basic, generic question that if all the panelists could go ten years back in time, what is that one mistake which which you would not want to make? That's for everyone. I'd uh, focus on my health and be a bit fitter and thinner right now. <laughs> okay. Bol bhai. Thinking. And uh, I I. Uh, you know i would say that you know my mistake uh, you know was i was too focused on marketing and products and i did not build the organization uh, backward and uh, i don't know whether it was good for us or bad for us because there is a lot of you know like we sold more than what we could chew and uh, sometimes our customer service started failing and which is where we started building our customer service backward then secondly uh, our organization uh, as a team i you know being too frugal also sometimes is bad because uh, you don't spend on uh, good talent and that is where uh, uh, you know i i would have invested more on talent uh, initially than what i have to do now and that would have helped me a little better i think if i could go 10 years back uh, sorry mani if i could go 10 years back uh, i would certainly take my first angel check from aman and uh, not take it from anyone else uh, but uh, no money please go i had no money that time so i had money only last year <laughs> i before that i was also going around here and there so i think 10 years back was the best time if you ask me so i'll reverse it uh, but i think at least at my end right i think uh, creating a lot more thought towards systems and processes at our end uh, very those is until date obsessed on product is critical Didn't give too much more on uh, marketing and branding, which is ex- essence of the day. Uh, I think more would be more on institutionalized thinking towards institutionalization earlier than where we are. Right. So those are things, but I don't repent. I think ten years back was a much much more merrier than where we are today. Uh, yeah. Looking at the competition, it's more faster now. Yeah, but no regrets. Right. You know, and because you're you're your young founder, uh, <laughs> building a startup and a fintech business, uh, I can only tell you that. Uh, one of the things that has uh, certainly something i would like to tell you it's a marathon it's not a sprint uh, so find your balance be calm be patient uh, there will be a up time down time uh, but kind of kind of you know what what everyone said health processes and this find that balance it's a long journey ahead next question hi good afternoon i am ashish and uh, after working in this corporate world for 20 years now i have joined up a startup and i am to the sales so uh, in these last 20 years what i have seen and this question is to all anybody can answer that what i have seen that you know a lot of uh, blue collar employees have now come up with respect to all your swiggies and zomatos having these runners and everybody but do you think that in in this fintech world has any finance company or has any fintech company tried to solve the problem so that they can bring them forward to invest money invest for their future because as on today i have not seen it but yes do you think think that is it something that is needed in india now so your question is uh, startups or uh, offerings question, that can yes, help these blue, yes. blue collar workers have a better life yes. uh, etc uh, i think pata nahi aap aapko agar aaya hai to aap kar lo us pe kaam aap guide kar do sir aap guide kar do main aa jaunga matlab soch lo yaar matlab if if you think that's a problem and uh, then that's a right solution for you you can do that you know what i mean i don't know so it's like betterment of people right i think the whole world even the country even the government everybody thinks about how to uplift the community at large i would give a very socialist answer to that mohit yeah yeah, yeah. so i think uh, logically if you look at what you're uh, asking i think the answer is that the demand is there because if you think about what happened over the last year or so 
all these predatory lending apps which were out there, right? So therefore, there is demand. Now, has that demand been met? Answer is today, no. But there are many people in this room who are actually out there trying to build and solve for exactly this. But you know, the problem is where the, where the challenge comes in is in, in any business, in any business, there is always concentration at the top, right? Your top few merchants, your top few partners, your top few customers will always give you the vast majority of what you're making. And then it becomes tougher and tougher, right? And at some point, that marginal, that utility curve changes and you start losing money on some transactions. You, you'll start losing money on some, some form of distribution. Now the question is, 10 years back, right, to answer that question, why I didn't say that I wanted to get into FinTech? It would have been great, but possibly not. Because change is going to happen now. Therefore, 10 years back, I was better off actually focusing on my health. Yeah. And I'll tell you, this is the time, what Aman just said, I think all of us should be trying to solve these problems because that market, what is the credit card market in India, right? 35 million cards, which means 35, 40 million people with cards because most of those people who've got cards have got multiple cards, right? But that's not India's population. Ideally, everybody with a mobile phone should have access to credit in some shape or form, whatever yeah. is that amount of credit. Yeah. But that requires underwriting. That's, it's not the distribution of credit, it's the underwriting. Have you built those risk engines? Lending is easy, collections is hard. So solve that side of the problem. And don't solve the front-end problem. The front-end problem is very, very easy to solve. Sure. Right. Perfect. Do we have, we, do we have for, uh, time for one last question? Last one? Go ahead, yeah. quickly. Yeah, good evening, uh, all the audience and the panelists. My name is Surya. Uh, I'm building a fintech startup. And uh, I wanted to understand what is your view on consumerism? because of finance, easy finance, a lot of people are going for the new tech and the new things and forgetting that they don't need it and they just want it and in terms of a lot of debt and uh, this is also causing a lot of global uh, climatic issues also. So what is your views on that and when will we re realize the issue and like work towards it uh, coming from the D2C companies itself? So you're worried about people buying more than what they actually need, yeah. right? Yeah, I think the government is also worried about the same part, right? <laughs> and they have brought on some uh, regulations. It is a worry, uh, yeah. you know, but there are uh, ways you need to be controlling that too, right? Because uh, sometimes you can chew more than what you can, you know, there's a dialogue, right? So, you know, people do not, people get carried away. That's why gambling is also bad sometimes, right? And that's banned that, you know, you just sometimes gamble too much. So, same way, maybe... But, uh, you know, this. how do you balance it? I don't know, but there is government. I think if you have, uh, that's a good point and there are a lot of debates happening. I think in this room and side room and every room uh, on the same topic. So, I think it is going to be solved soon. How and all, I don't know, but it will be solved somewhere or the other. Thank you. See, but it's an important one, right? You yeah. need to yeah, have... Working on that, so eco the economy needs to keep churning. So, it's an important thing that... Uh, it's done in a balanced way. Consumerism is, is, is required. Bhavik, can I answer way. that one? Yeah, of course. You know, there are, there is, there's only one superpower at any point in time in the world, right? And that superpower is the country whose currency is used globally. Correct. So it used to be UK, now it's America. Hmm. Possibly it could be China. Now, if India. India wants to become a superpower, you won't become a superpower by getting a non-voting seat on the UN Security Council. Hmm. You'll become a superpower if your currency is used everywhere else in the world. Digitally, we have built those frameworks. NPCI has done a brilliant job. We have built those frameworks. But we want our currency to be used more. Therefore, we actually want people to buy more. We want more business to happen. And therefore, what I would say is, let's throw open credit to everybody. Let's actually scale India's economy from where it stands. Double, triple, all of that is possible. Because we're on a low base. When you're on a low base, growth is easy. Right? Just you have to create the framework for it. So I would like us all to go out, shop more, <laughs> and of course, when you're transacting, make sure that your payment is going through PayU. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's a good uh, parting, uh, closing thought, uh, Mohit. Uh, Manish, last one line of gyan, one line of encouragement, whatever. You and then Aman, think of something crazy. Hindi mein bhi chalega. I think just be fearless, uh, chase your dreams. Uh, of, uh, small advice from another founder, don't think the, the grass is greener on the other side. I think being a founder is a great joy, but it also comes with a lot of responsibilities, right? But 100% towards entrepreneurship, encouragement. Uh, but I think you need, I mean, seeing a lot of changes and it's its for good. Uh, I hope you inspire. I think Aman's an inspiration to me to start with. Uh, yeah, vice versa. Yeah, so. Superb. 
Uh, I would say, you know, I've said it before also, there are a lot of ideation happening in a lot of rooms, in a lot of tables, in a lot of entrepreneurs. So sometimes I would say is, uh, you know, don't, don't, don't be afraid. Uh, don't be afraid to fail. I have, I have failed a couple of times before I started this. There will be a lot of failures, uh, but you need one right success, right? Uh, one right success will bring you uh, on this side of the table. Yeah. Uh, a lot of failures won't matter. Only that one big success will change your life. Don't be afraid of uh, failing. Don't be afraid of competition. Uh, you know, there was uh, this humbi bana lenge attitude, yeah. right? That should be there with everybody. Yeah. If somebody else could do it, you can also do it. And, uh, you know, there is, you never know, you might be the next big thing, right? Uh, you know, uh, disruptors can also be disrupted, right? Fantastic. So don't be afraid. Fantastic. On that note, be fearless. Hope you all enjoyed this conversation. I certainly did. Thank you, Mohit, Manish, Aman. Thank you so much. All right. So that was the closing panel discussion at Global FinTech. Fest 2022, filled with a lot of candid, straight from the heart and enduring conversations between four entrepreneurs. Ladies and gentlemen, can we give our speakers a huge round of applause? <laughs> On this note, as we come towards the closing, I'd like to request you all to access www.globalfintech.com to get access on the next Global FinTech, which is going to take place sometime next year. And you can also keep abreast with all the updates taking place. On this note, this